What's going on, y'all? JT here with an unboxing and look at the 118 scale glacier from Easy RC. So I'll put a link down below in the description. I've been pretty excited to kind of get this. It's been a while since I've actually had a crawler and ran a crawler actually on my channel. Even though this is an 18 scale crawler, it's got some pretty good details in it. So I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm just going to go ahead and get this open and let's see what's inside. Oh, yeah. You guys know I love the smell <laughs> of a new RC car. And that actually looks pretty cool up in there. So let me go ahead. Let's pull this out. It's even got a matching radio that matches kind of the color of the truck. So let me go ahead. Let me pull all this out and let's see what we got. All right, guys, pulling this out. This actually looks pretty good. It's got some pretty good detail, um, especially for its size. It's, like I said before, when I was looking at the box and showing you guys that this is 18 scale. But this is four wheel drive and it's got some, like I said, some pretty good detail to it for being so small. Um, looking at the radio real quick, you guys see this here. Um, it is your standard 2.4 gigahertz radio and it's got some adjustments there on the back. You guys see your throttle trim and your steering trim there. And this does use three double A's. So you have to have three double A's to get this functional. And to actually get to the actual vehicle to turn it on, I kind of looked at it at first and I was like, well, where's the on-off switch? Because most cars that are built and constructed like this have the on-off switch where it's visible here or kind of visible underneath. But what they did was they actually put that on-off switch, get this popped up, right inside there with the LiPo battery. You guys see that in there? So the on-off switch is going to be right there and the LiPo battery is going to be there. Um, they also give you a charger and a little four-way tool to, to take the tires and wheels off um, with it. Now, this does have lights and stuff. I'm going to actually turn this light off real quick so it doesn't give a glare so I can show you guys um, the lights on here. So to get the headlights and stuff to function, you do have to give it some throttle. I'll give it just a little bit. You guys see those lights there coming off of that. And then it also has lights in the reverse as our way it's actually running. It also has tail lights as well when you go in reverse. Now, it does have what I thought was pretty cool. You guys see that when you turn left or turn right, a signal for it. So I thought that that was pretty cool that they put that on there. But I'm looking at some of this detail, the little windshield wipers to the little side mirrors on this. And this does open up back here as well. So look at that. And that's pretty cool that they did some pretty good detail with that. I think um, I don't see this with a lot of cars, even that the 10 scale um, crawler cars. They don't have that much detail on these particular areas of most crawlers and trucks and stuff like that unless you're going to pay a lot more money for that but for 125 i think it's just got some pretty good detail with it um i'm going to get this charged up and get this running um probably in the next couple of days or so i can actually run this outside in the backyard and in the front yard and show you guys some running footage of this i'm kind of excited to kind of get this out and get this running uh the tires and wheels um this doesn't have any foam in them from what i can feel and i didn't expect that with uh, crawler or, or truck of being this small, but it should be fine for its purpose and its speed of it. Don't expect a super speed Saturday on this. <laughs> we'll probably get about maybe five to eight miles per hour, which is going to be fine for this type of vehicle. And I don't, of course, don't want to get it out there and start trying to run it and making it brushless and then flipping it on the street and stuff and then kind of ripping this body up. But I wanted to at least show this to you guys. Um, put your comments down below. Like I said, there's going to be a link in the description um, to check this out. If you guys are interested in this and this color, this blue on here, it looks pretty good. I'm not even going to take there's, there's plastic foam on this windshield. I'm not even going to take that off. <laughs> I'm actually going to leave that on. I'll probably take it off for a video. But uh, matter of fact, take that off right now. <laughs> so but anyway, guys, uh, put your comments down below. Stay tuned for some videos of this coming up really soon um, and some running videos. I'm actually going to I think it's going to rain a little bit. Um, Thursday. I'm not going to submerge it in water, but I do want to take it out and drive it where it's got a little water here and stuff to get some realism type videos. If I can get that out, get that going in a couple of days. So you guys don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.